was the, that was like the most selfish display I've ever seen out of you, man. All she wanted was for you to come and sit by her. We still going to McDonald's? No! Don't you get it, you asshole? Do you even fucking come up for air long enough to realize your own mother is dying? Fuck you, fucking ass! <laughs> get, up. Ah. get up here now! Get up here now! Pull up the fucking car. Yeah. No. Come here. Dang! What are you? What are you doing? For the rest of that whole long day, Thomas acts really out of it. At the harbor, Thomas tells Miss Hanker he feels too nervous to get on the ferry to the statue. So she makes me stay behind with him and the bus driver. That night, I dream I'm trapped in a small, dark cave in the woods I don't recognize. It's pitch dark. I bang and cry for help, and when, at last, I discover a way out, I realize I've not been trapped in a cave at all, but inside the Statue of Liberty. That's what I wanted to work with you with, how we're both going to be in the hearing to present the best case to advocate for your brother to get him out of here. And I don't want you to tell everybody that I said that. But between you and me, I think he needs to be out of here. What happened? I well, mean, last week, you, you, you thought this place is the best place in the world for him, and now, now you think he should be out of here? Yeah. Why? Because I saw him. I saw him, Dominic. He's, he's having a real hard time here. Everyone can see it. He's so passive, he gets picked on all the time. And there are some real criminals here, you know? Your brother is not one of them. He's a gentle soul. You, you want to know what sucks about this whole security clearance bullshit? What? I, the, the way I'm not allowed to see my own brother. Your clearance will be here any day, and then you'll get to see him. This can be a very challenging environment for paranoid schizophrenics. It really can. People are actually watching you all the time. I think an environment with less of a security focus would be so much better for him. Which is what exactly I was trying to tell you all from the very beginning. I know. And you didn't want to listen Dominate. to me. Dominate. You didn't listen to me. I'm listening now. And you know what? You're the smartest boy in the class. Right. You get a gold star on the way out. Do you always feel compelled to obey the voices you hear? The good voices, yes. The evil ones I battle. So how do you distinguish between them? The sound of Jesus' voice is like nothing else. So Jesus speaks to you? Then. Jesus speaks to everyone. I listen. Yeah, well, let's just, let's, let's just suppose um, that one of the voices of good, say the voice of Jesus Christ himself, asked you to hurt someone to kill someone, say, one of his enemies, would you, would you feel obliged to obey then? T 
it's just the question's ridiculous because Jesus, Jesus would never ask me to do something like that. He wouldn't ask me to harm anybody. Jesus Christ died on the cross so that, so that we would know the light. Um, what, I'm, what I'm trying to say is that I, th I think that you're trying to control something that you cannot control. And I, I think you need to let Thomas go a little. So let him go. No, I'm not. It's not what I meant. I'm just saying that maybe that maybe, just let go a little bit and let him just he be, be somewhere. He's safe where he is. You don't just give up on the people you love, Dessa. You don't just walk away from people when things get tough for them. You, you don't act like you had no history with them and start a new life. Okay? said it's a holy place. You believe in God? I wish I did, man. Jesus Christ is your Savior down there. He loves you, forgives you. I know.